This is by far the best sound card you can get for a home studio setup. It worked for more than eight years and I really never regretted it. Hey guys, welcome to my studio. It's now already past 12. I had a doctor's appointment this morning. Nothing really major, just a general check. Everything is all right. The doctor just said I should spend more time sleeping and working less in the studio, but we all know this is not going to happen. So let's get started. Okay, I don't know. I, I opened Logic, pressed play and the sound card is not working. Usually it immediately turns on. This is bus powered. It's connected to the screen and the screen over Thunderbolt to my MacBook. I really don't know. I of course will first of all check all of the connections because there are a lot of them. So first of all the sound card to the Firewire 400 connection and the Firewire 400 to Firewire 800 adapter connection is also all good. Then the Firewire to Thunderbolt connection to the display it's it's okay and of course also the one to the macbook let's try another firewire cable i also don't think it has anything to do with the software i can't even update it if it's not turning on and there's no bus power external power connection on the back of the sound card so yeah i think that's it i think it's time to say goodbye to my duet sound card it's a really really good sound card from apogee i think i bought it more than eight years ago and it still worked yesterday it's it's a really good sound card it has two inputs so you can connect a mic you can connect a guitar you can um, record both at the same time you have an output to your speakers and also the 48 volt of phantom power and the headphone jack so that's really all you need for the perfect home recording or mobile recording studio with this sound card i've actually produced all of the tracks i've ever released and it's also the sound card that I've recorded the vocals for my tracks with. I made all of the vocal things for my All About track on this sound card. So it's really sad that it doesn't work anymore. I'm not sure if I can get it repaired. I will try to get in contact with Apogee and see if they can do anything about it. But I think it's just time to get a new one. Firewire 400 is anyways really dated. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, son. Ciao. Gordon just called. He's coming by. We're having lunch. Why not? I can't do anything without a working sound card. Although there might be a way around so that I can at least work a little bit on music. But first, lunch. Chinese <laughs> or pizza, as always? Chai pizza? Chai pizza. <laughs> I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know why, but Gordon wants to sit outside. Probably just because he wants to smoke. Yeah, sort of. The best drink ever. It's, yeah. Beer without alcohol. Cheers. It's just too cold to sit outside, so switching the location. Gordon also brought me his very old record player. As you might remember, I wanted to buy one a couple of weeks ago. I actually just wanted to record some of my old records and use the samples to make new music. And that's one of the good things about these daily videos. Other people watch them and help me out. I just wish now somebody could help me with a new sound card. Without it, I can't even record the samples and not really work at all. There's only one option I have and it's, it's not really a pretty solution. I could kind of work around the sound card with this cable. It's um, jack to chinch. I also need this adapter from chinch to the big jack. I'm really lucky that my speakers also have a port for this. 
And now I only have to check if the other one is reaching to the other speaker. Yeah, it kind of works. Now I have the jack here and have to go directly into the laptop. As I said, it's not really a pretty solution. The cable is now hanging here and... Let's see if it works. It does work, but using the internal sound card of a MacBook is not really the best solution. It comes with huge drawbacks. So some of you have been asking why to use a sound card and when to get one. And yes, of course, you can just plug in the speakers directly into your computer. But you will, of course, have a lot of latency. So whenever you play MIDI piano notes in, there will be a delay. So you will have to quantize a lot. It can be really frustrating and annoying when you try to write a song and have that much of delay. Also, of course, you can't record the guitar or vocals. It's impossible with that amount of delay. And you don't even have an input into your computer. And even if you have one, the quality is way worse than just having something like this. I've checked out a couple of sound card brands and I still think the one from Apogee are the best ones. They're really compact. I love that you have this big knob where you can change the volume, the headphone jack on the front. You can just leave it on your desk. It is bus powered. You can take it with you and just record in other places. It's really all I need, very compact. So let's see, I'm pretty sure there is a newer version of this available. So this right here is the updated version. It's now using USB. It costs 600 bucks, which isn't really that much. It has the same audio quality. It's using the same software. You can now even use it with an iPad. And you have this new nice OLED display and I think some touch controls. Yes, here is a touchpad kind of. But I would actually much more prefer the quartet. It has way more in and out so that you can, yeah, that you can record four instruments at once and also have different outputs. I wish I could have the big one here on my desk, but it's a little bit too expensive for me. So for the rest of the day, sticking to the cable that I just installed and trying to make music with it. Wherever I am Wherever you are You can do the light on my soul It's all about love Today was a bit frustrating without a sound card. It doesn't really make that much fun. Everything is a lot slower and the cable that I'm using right now it's making some weird humming noise. Doing precise mixing with it is almost impossible. Playing the keys doesn't really work and recording also not. So I really need to figure out this sound card problem as soon as possible. Hmm.